Chris Keys, it's Monday morning. True story. <laughs> Today we're taking a look at the EVH 5150 course by MXR, EVH, Eddie Van Halen, who, man, one of my all-time favorite guitar players. I can't play anything like the guy, as you can tell from that intro, but, <laughs> but an amazingly innovative player, and not, was his, not only was his playing innovative, but his tone, man. I remember when it came out and nothing sounded like him before that and everything is kind of followed. So total game changer. Uh, and it's so cool that um, that he's hooked up with, with MXR Dunlop to, to get, to reintroduce some of these tones in a tiny little box that, uh, that a kid with a paper route can save up and buy because they're so affordable. It's pretty amazing. Let me tell you the details on this thing. It's based, okay, they're not, uh, Van Halen's tone is somewhat of a mystery. In fact, he kind of kept it guarded for a while, said things about, uh, which is understandable because it's his sound, but it's based roughly on the Roland DC-30 um, used by uh, Eddie on the Diver Down album, which had Pretty Woman on it and Cathedral and all these other things. Um, and it's an early 80s chorus sound, uh, that he kind of worked to bring back with the with the MXR team. Uh, details, let's see. Um, there's an input and output switch for modern rig flexibility. I'll get into that. Internal um, true buffered bypass switch, mono in and stereo out, bucket brigade. Bucket brigade. Um, and what I really love about this, okay, there's there's no in, there's there's an intensity knob. There's a tone knob and there's a volume knob, but there's no rate knob. And I'll show you what I really dig about it, what makes it so addictive. It's cool into one amp, but when you bring it into two, it's... Which we are. Which we're doing. Right now, running that little um, fender and then that valve train together. And let me show you our, just our bass tone. So... <laughs> So, you know, not bad, but here's what's really cool. Get into this thing, and if we turn the intensity way down, and the tone, the intensity, we'll just deal with that for now. Okay, so turn this on, and then. about that it's hard to say what it is it just sounds shot this video with uh, Brian Kegel from Dunlop is that he kind of said it works almost as a doubler and that's what I'm hearing yeah it's it's like harmonizer. Re right it's it's so subtle with the intensity down um, that it just adds so much okay and here here's the other bits too you've got the tone on it is really interesting because rather than for the most part tone is kind of just adding high end but this really shapes it okay when I bring it up, it's going to get a little thinned out. Then put this thing way down there. tone way down and the intensity up a bit, it's almost that Michael Stern thing. Mm. How Michael Stern runs that, he's been running that big, if you go to the rig rundown, um, he's been running this rack. In Yamaha, right? Right, yeah, I think, is it an XPX90 or something, something like that? Like something like that, anyway, he's been running that forever, that's his sound, you know, through two amps, but. Now that's pretty intense right there, but even with it, with it, with the intensity all the way down. Mm -hmm. 
it's just great. And with the tone way down, it's the kind of pedal where if I was listening to it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know there's anything in there. I just think it's a big spread. There it is with it off, you know. And with it on, I would never turn that off. I think I would just, I think I would just leave it on all the time. another really cool thing about it so right here you've got an input level um, which is an option of 20 minus 20 v db 35 or 50 and then you've got an output level but if you goose this to the 50 okay, here we are how cool is that right I mean it's it's really giving you enough of a boost where you're overdriving it. So it could be kind of a secret weapon for, you know, for solos. You know, you could use it as a total boost. Okay, so we, here we are. Engage that thing. That alone is so cool. Um, same thing about the output level. You can adjust how much you want. Keep it, you know, if you want that pristine clean. Bring it down a little bit. And then of course, turn the intensity up and you can get all that classic chorusy kind of stuff. But I do like the fact that there is no rate. I, 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 um, I lean towards, when I use effects like that, I lean towards a slow rate anyway. Well, like the classic Van Halen thing, the, um, the uh, phase, 90. phase 90, exactly. His thing was to turn it, the rate all the way down. And it's just amazing like that. But you turn it up and you get a little seasick. But that wasn't his thing. But you can get a little seasicky on this thing if I bring it bring the intensity up. You know there it's almost got that kind of weird Leslie whatever kind of tone. Turn up the tone be a little more pronounced. There you're into crazy land, which I mean there's a place for that. If you really want to make a if you really want to jump out in a mix, <laughs> put that on there. Uh, that's not so much my bag, but it's there. very, yeah, but it's there in case you really, because there's times, I don't know, there's times where people just want weird noises. Like sometimes I'll be on a session and whoever is producing it is so bored with the shit I'm playing that <laughs> it's wonderful. And, uh, they give them a weird tone and suddenly it's, it's, more interesting. So. It's like a ring mod when you dimed it. Though. Right, right, yeah, just like... Hey, I tell you what, I've been playing this this key soul, um, but let me let me switch guitars so I won't be playing the uh, whammy bar, because when I have a whammy bar, I can't leave it alone. <laughs> I uh, think that's the whole point of it. Yeah, that's the whole thing, yeah. But this thing, this, this, and this whammy bar is really addictive. Yeah, and Jeff Kiesel just made that guitar. Let's go. Okay, let's get into this. My old PRS, so we can hear what it does with it, with just a set. 
Here's our bass tone. Like right there. That's about as chorusy as I want, you know. Again, if you're in a mono rig, I mean, I guess I could, should I show you a mono rig sound or does it, it might be kind of fun. Why, why not, okay. I'm gonna give you a quick, just mono on it. So you hear what that does. It sounds a little more pronounced. Oh, okay. We're already out of time. But it, it sounds, a, the, the, the chorusing is a little more pronounced, which is cool. But when we go back to stereo, same setting, not touching anything. A lot more subtle and wider. And wider, man. And it's funny, for whatever reason, both those amps just really come alive and you hear such, I don't know, clarity and definition. So, I'm gonna turn that intensity down a bit and the tone down a bit. So. Like right there, I wouldn't even know that is a chorus. It just sounds like a huge, a huge. Anyway, I love this thing. Great pedal. Good on you, MXR, Jim Dunlop. Excellent work. And Eddie, we love you, man. You have, you changed the world. So keep doing it. You're fabulous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> him. I hope he watches this. Do you think he'll watch this? I don't know. No. You know, he might. <laughs> he might. Well, if you do, Eddie, we all love you. We owe you a great debt. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. You're the best. Um, Chris, we got coming up this week. Uh, Other than recovering from NAM, it's been yeah, a... Yeah, just a bunch of NAM videos, and <laughs> man, we're still trying to get that extra special rig rundown out. Don't want to jinx it. No. But never. it's a big one. We're not messing around. <laughs> Promise. Promise. It's a big one. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the tons of NAM coverage, so check that out. We have, we, uh, the good team at, at PG covered an amazing amount of gear. Yeah, so. I'd say over 75 videos. So God. It was a great NAM, too. There were great really great things happening so that was exciting um this is the golden age of gear well let's uh let me just wank on this thing and you can hear what it does i'm gonna play something not uh van halen because i suck at van halen things <laughs> i can't play like him.